Alright, so just showing more algebra for calculus, we need to here expand and simplify these following expressions. And so here we're just going over different algebra techniques. So like for this first one, if I'm trying to simplify it, um, I need to use the distri distribution property. So what that means is I'm going to say the two distributed across here and the negative one that, that minus is across here, I end up with uh, 2x plus 2. Distributing the negative, I have a minus 2x minus 11. Then I need to bring together my um, common terms. So what I mean by that is the the 2x and the negative 2x actually cancel out and end up with just negative 9 here. So you can see why this would be useful. Instead of dealing with this, you could actually deal with the expression negative 9. All right, now in part B, we're trying to multiply two binomials together. So to do that, you want to use what we call the FOIL technique, which says um, basically you need to take a chance to let everything multiply against everything. So for example, first you do the first two terms. So I have uh, 4x times 3x, which would be 12x squared. I need to do the outside terms, so the 4x and the 2, that gives me a negative 8x. The inside terms would just be a 1 times 3x, which is just 3x. And then last, we have a 1 and a negative 2 to give me a negative 2. So when I combine my like terms, the only things I can combine are my x's to the first um, exponent, which we call the linear terms. So I have negative 5x minus 2. Okay, for part C, we're doing the same thing. We're multiplying two binomials together. So we'd want to use the FOIL technique again. Um, here, though, we have some square roots, and you'll see this kind of thing in calculus a lot. And so this is uh, a good thing to, to memorize when you have something like this, see what our answer turns out to be. So here, the first times first, I have square root of A squared. I have square root of A times the square root of A, which is the square root of A squared. My outside terms, I have a negative square root of B times the square root of A. So that becomes a negative square root of A times square root of B. Uh, then you have the inside, so that's a plus square root of A times square root of B. And then you have the last, which would be a negative square root of B squared. Okay, so um, here, negative uh, square root of A squared is just A. I mean, that's the squared and the square root are opposites of each other in this sense. Here we have, this is negative uh, square root of AB, and this is actually positive square root of AB. When you multiply square roots, you can bring them together. And then I have a minus square root of B squared, which would be minus B. And if you notice, the middles cancel out here, right? Adding common terms, so here we end up with just A minus B. So, um, that's a good thing to, re to try to remember. You'll see this kind of thing show up in other places. All right, thirdly, or fourthly, I should say, in part D, we have 3x minus 1 quantity squared. This is the same thing as saying 3x minus 1 times 3x minus 1. So this, again, is using the FOIL technique. And uh, so I multiply the first, I end up with 9x squared. The outside, I have a negative 3x. The inside, I have a negative 3x as well. And then lastly, I have negative 1 times negative 1, which is a positive 1. So cleaning that up, we have 9x squared minus 6x plus 1. Okay, this um, last one, we have x minus 2 to the fourth power. That's the same thing as saying x minus 2 times x minus 2, which would be FOIL, right? Times x minus 2 times x minus 2. So you can actually do FOIL uh, multiple times and get a bunch of scratch. But a quicker way to do this is by using Pascal's triangle. I actually have a video up on how to use Pascal's triangle to evaluate things like this. So if you would want to look at that, I think that would be very helpful here. If you have any more questions or details related to this that you need help with, just um, let me know. I'll be glad to help. And thanks for watching. <music>